not under arrest. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at infamous times when rude, entitled, and belligerent baby boomers caused a nightmare, only to receive some delightful consequences. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. Double karma. One of the most satisfying feelings in the world is seeing justice served. In 2023, Tracy Robert Blackwell was paying more attention to screaming racial slurs and making obscene gestures at another driver than watching the road in Oakland, California. After a barrage of abuse, Blackwell attempted to ram the other vehicle, missed, and swerved into a wall. Amazing. A video of the incident was uploaded, enabling police to arrest Blackwell for the racist road rage and attempted assault. To make matters worse for him, he has a history of legal issues, including being a registered offender. As such, Blackwell will likely receive harsher punishments, and it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yelling into arrest it was meant to be a simple ticket issue for a broken taillight for Officer Charles Messini in Cashin, Oklahoma. But Deborah Hamill wouldn't allow that in 2019. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead, to do. Step out of the car. After refusing to sign the ticket, getting threatened with arrest, and then attempting to backtrack, Hamill sped off, causing the cop to follow. Once pulled over, Messini dragged her from the car, but Hamill made her situation so much worse as she kicked the cop in the groin. As she continued to resist arrest, Messini fired his taser at Hamill, allowing him to slap the cuffs on. In 2020, Hamill pled guilty to four misdemeanor counts. She received a $50 fine for each incident and a four-year deferred sentence. You wouldn't comply, you wouldn't get out, and then you tried to kick me, so Why? yes, I did. Sheep in a bank. It's bonkers how a business's requests for folks to wear a piece of material on their faces cause some boomers so much agitation. My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the rules, that, and you have to have a mask on. Is, this is a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service. In 2021, Terry White walked into a bank in Galveston, Texas without a mask. After refusing to wear one offered to her by employees and not wanting to leave, the cops were called. Ma'am, you put your hands behind your back. White still wouldn't exit, resulting in her arrest. Yet, even then, White pretended to be the victim by claiming it was police brutality. Oh, you smashed my head to the ground now? Now you're smashing my arm into my private area? Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. White's pointless protest continued when she was arrested days later, doing the same at an office depot. Ma'am. The entry of member of the public. Ma'am, if you refuse to leave, you're going to go to jail for trespassing. Her actions at the bank earned her 12 days in jail. Fishing fiasco. In 2023, in Brisbane, Australia, Prasong Wichtuma wanted to enjoy some fishing with three friends one night. However, an unidentified man launched into a bizarre anti-Chinese tirade against them, though none are from China. Chinese no, I want Sam. Why? What's wrong with you? Believing the group had stolen something, which they hadn't, the Ken even struck them several times with crutches. It's impressive how calm and patient the fishing group was when dealing with this nonsense. What's wrong with you? Stop. No. Got you, man. After the cops were called, the man was taken in and fined $391 for being a public nuisance. As for the fishing group, the local community rallied behind them, even giving them gifts for their actions. I tried to stop him, but him tried to push me in the water and tried to fight everyone. Scooting in racism. Some Karens thrive on the attention they get from spouting their terrible views. In 2021, in Ontario, Canada, TikTok user at Ravioli uploaded her interaction with a horrible woman on a mobility scooter who had to get the last racist word in. She accosted a family of Pakistani Canadians and went off on a slur and expletive-filled rant against the group as she rode around, not caring if children heard her terrible words. Passerby had enough and confronted the unidentified woman, who seemed unbothered by the interference, instead doubling down by flipping the bird. The police were able to use the video to find the Karen and charged her for her awful tantrum. Go home. 
This is a total embarrassment. Animal Prince Karen. Some Karens love drama. In 2021, in an Einstein Brothers Bagels restaurant in Palm Beach County, Florida, Cindy Falco Di Corrado had the police called on her for refusing to wear a mask inside. You take your hands off of me, sir. I am not a criminal. I've done nothing wrong. After arguing with the cop and attempting to tell him about the law, she was taken outside to be arrested. This is because the police department are ignorant of the constitutional rights. Okay. This is why this man has his hand on me. There, the animal printed Falco Di Corrado screamed, told them she couldn't breathe, accused them of stealing her purse, called it a false arrest, and claimed she was being kidnapped. My purse! Okay. That's my purse. I am in charge of the situation. My purse! It's tiring just watching it. Falco DiCarado, who has a history of racist and anti-mask incidents, even became a candidate for the Boynton Beach mayorship. In 2022, when she appeared in court, she dramatically prayed as she was sentenced. Falco DiCarado was fined $411 for her actions tractor chase wait what's going on here some karens can't hear the word no they'll continue doing whatever their heart desires ignoring the pleas of others in 2021 lori bostic was adamant that she was going to take part in the fourth of july parade in rockwall texas even though she was prohibited after causing a disturbance well, Bostic ignored the event organizers and the police as she got on her tractor and attempted to join in with the festivities. The cops chased after her and forced her to crash into a fence. After disabling her tractor, they arrested Bostic and charged her on several counts, including evading arrest and disorderly conduct, making a bad situation much worse. Employees at the Gladiola Express Exxon in Jonesboro, Arkansas, were in for a strange shift when Lori Marsh entered the store in 2023 and began eating items from the shelf without paying. But it was going to be an even worse working day for Officer Troy Ellison. When he arrived, Marsh was already in her car. As Ellison attempted to get her out, she drove at him, hitting him with her wing mirror. Marsh was later located in an apartment for a person she looked after. Police managed to get inside and arrest her. Marsh was charged with several counts, including driving while intoxicated, assault of an officer, and theft. She was handed a $10,000 bond for her actions. Plano Problem Four women of Indian heritage were leaving a restaurant in Plano, Texas after a lovely evening in 2022. However, their enjoyment quickly turned sour when Esmeralda Upton approached them in the parking lot. She launched into a racist tirade against the women, emphasizing her hatred of Indians. But her unhinged words not being enough, Upton stepped it up by threatening violence against one of the women and hitting her for recording the confrontation. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. God. The cops soon arrived and separated the two sides. They let Upton go, but the following day charged her with numerous counts, including assault. On top of her criminal issues, Upton also faced two lawsuits by the victims. We definitely want to see justice served. Like, that's the thing, right? And so whatever her actions, what, what her actions were, we just want to make sure that she has the right consequences. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Nasty Neighbor In 2021, when Tamika Bordeaux spotted the mail courier being belittled by Claudia Emanuel near her home in Bayonne, New Jersey, she decided to go over there to back the worker. Well, this caused Emanuel to aim her venom at her neighbor as she launched into a racist rant against Bordeaux. Hey, Bayonne. This video on social media was posted by Tamika Bordeaux. Even when she attempted to walk away and a passerby went to support Bordeaux, Emmanuel wouldn't give up and followed, continuing her slurry of slurs. And she following me all the way from 17th Street. <laughs> it wasn't until the two got to a store and other people stepped in that Emmanuel stopped her terrible antics. Unfortunately for the racist, she was arrested soon after and charged with bias, intimidation, and harassment. Which generation has the worst Karens? Let us know below.